hello 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 everyone hello guys welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back hi guys this is Dolores Penis on the closet of sads if you will hit that like button that subscribe button make sure it's gray and not red also to make sure your post notification bell is on guys so you don't miss a video anytime I upload if you're new to the channel welcome if you're returning thank you for all your support and your newcomers thank you for your support as well only thing you have to do is hit the button hit the subscribe button guys that's it just hit the button you're gonna be glad you did promise you you will anyway let's go ahead and get this video out of the way hopefully this video will not be too long i try not to keep you guys long so i'm gonna try to do like a quick <laughs> quick little video of the um bad drills remember I've been showing y'all little um, beginners friendly little steps of the badge reels, okay? So this is another step. I think we're on what step three or step four. Well, this one um in between now. I've been trying to keep up with it, but anyway, I've been giving y'all the beginners friendly um, badge reels on the um, videos on the badge reels. If you been following me and you've been watching those steps if you're into the badge reels and making id badges you know a lot of um young ladies and me and gentlemen they love wearing badge reels to work remember i told you guys we don't do just boring over here no we're not we don't do that so y'all ought to know that by now and also too i'm gonna show y'all another step that y'all can do to make the badge reels don't forget i do have to sh do a video with you guys to show y'all the ones on the flowers remember i told you guys i was gonna show y'all the one with the little mesh flowers that is coming so but i seen this one i said let me do a quick video on because i was gonna just do it myself and i said now let me go ahead and just do the step to let y'all know y'all cannot what else you can use to make a badge reel okay hold on hold on guys hold on Here, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, um, I think I'm gonna do them in steps and sequence. I'm gonna do them in steps and sequence, guys. I'm gonna do them in steps and sequence. Remember, I told you I, I was gonna do them in steps and sequence. I'm gonna do them in steps and sequence. Okay. I'm going to sit these here to the side and I'm going to explain these here to you guys in just a minute, okay? I'm going to explain this. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'm going to go ahead and hold it up so y'all can see it. Back it up. It's the ladybug. That's what the side look like. You see right here? I'm fixing to show y'all what that is. In just a moment okay to show y'all you what else y'all can use when you think you can't see this that's just a charm i'm explaining it in just a minute let's go ahead and get this video out of the way and i'm gonna let y'all sit there and admire that get these some tools out of the way so y'all can see that as well okay now other items you can use to make badge reels okay what i did was i went ahead and preset y'all know i love the preset it helps you in the long run but miss d why you didn't preset this with the bling that's it i'm fixing to show you guys why mr lords didn't preset this i'm fixing to show you guys okay Make sure it snap back, which it does. What I did, though, I did go ahead and put my little flat back pearl. That way it'll be dry by the time I start. And that's these. Okay. Y'all know y'all can purchase these from Amazon just about anywhere. And I have more over there. I have plenty of those things. Plenty, 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 plenty. Okay. Now, and y'all know where I get my badge reels from. The Dollar Tree. Three come in a pack. I'm used to it except for one. This is the little dome. Oh, that's my paper. 
this is the clear dome but be careful not to touch the back of this because you will get your hand prints on the back and it'll be hard to uh, to adhere to your um um sticker or whatever you're using okay if you're using these clear domes put that right there and i always try to keep something on top of it that's why that paper is there so um you, it won't get scratched up um like this you see how clear that is make sure it's clear yeah now the one inch circle you can always purchase these from amazon okay just about anywhere this whole punch i need me then i done had this one forever <laughs> when i first started out my business and i haven't had it forever guys forever 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 okay um now i'm fixing to show y'all only thing you can do is just um copy and paste your print or you can order go to etsy and they have a lot of vendors on there that sell the little bottle cap um little items that you can um download and you can just punch them out like that and that's how i ended up with all of this and stuff but y'all let me tell y'all what i did i had so many of these and guess what happened on my computer i didn't download it and put it on my um usb my computer crashed when i first started and i lost just about every bit of it i was able to save some but not all of them i said oh well it's cool i had some of them anyway the majority of them cut out it was fine but i'm showing y'all little prints and stuff they have this is the lpn this here you know cna and that's all it is little hole punches rn this is the nurses ones right here cna the different styles okay that's that and i did some of the hello kitty I'm going to show y'all what I did with the Hello Kitty on another video, though. That'll be a total another video. Total another video. With these here, I'm going to show y'all what I did with it. I did some with their initials. I did a lot of them for customers with their initials on them, so that's why you see some of them already done. So, that's that one. And all of these are one inch. So, I had a little D. It had different styles. Um, let me show you. I see you. I, I, as, look, as y'all can see, I have a lot of nurses and stuff like that because that's I do a lot of, um, for nurses and some. Sometimes if they don't want their niches, I always just keep some printed up like RN on it or whatever. And this is the little um, dragonfly. I always keep some like this available and on hand whenever I do some like for upgrade in different styles. And make them very, real pretty for them. And let's say what if they are activity direct or whatever. That one LPN. And see, and this is what it looked like. These are the bottle caps. And I already had did one for a while back. Just get you some adhesive glue of your choice. Put it here. And put your um picture on it and let it dry it won't take but a minute to dry but make sure it's dry before you add your dome on top of this okay but what i'll do i since this is already done i'm going to show y'all and i did a cowgirl set i never got to do i just punched the holes out of that and that one the boot the star and the hats. That was like a whole set. I just didn't ever get to do it. This is the very first set I punched out and I never got to doing it, y'all. When I first started, this is the little cheetah. Little cheetah print. Isn't she pretty? Look at her. She's sassy. And I got a little sassy cat. As y'all know that I wear. <laughs> little sassy cat right there on my bracelet. Put me around this cat right here. So, the sassy cat. It's like a whole set. I never did get to use it. But I probably will, though. And add some more into my um, Etsy shop. And that's it. Those are what I say pre-cut. 
Now, what I'm fixing to show y'all, right quick. Fixing to show you guys right quick. Hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Get your sheet of paper, as y'all can see. I already has started some. Start doing some. If the paper is too thin, what I always do, if I got have, if I have like a regular piece of copy paper, I put cardstock behind it, put it close to the edge, get it close as you want to the print. Let me see. I'm gonna what I'm. Let me write something on here. Um. Let me just put love right here on here so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I just wrote the word love. Okay, I just wrote love. Y'all see that? What you do, you slide it in here. But you see right here, see your little hourglass right here, right there. And if you still have a hard time, just open it up. You can look at it to see if that's where you want it at. And so bring it close to the edge or more to the top or whatever you decide to do that looks pretty good to me so what i'm going to do i'm going to punch it and see that it made that hole right there right there okay yeah, let me put my paper get to the side and the circle the paper will still be in here and you just check it out it'll make a perfect circle now see that's what it did that's it. And you can just put your dome on top of this. And I'm fixing to show y'all how to do that. Just a moment. So I'm going to keep that. I'm going to put my paper over here. Now, if you don't have this hole punch. I know when a lot of us first started out doing them, we didn't have a clue what they was talking about. Hole punch, one inch, and so forth. As time progressed on, you know, we figured everybody went to figuring it out. Okay. So, if you do not have this little device, which is very cheap, you know, you can get it just about anywhere. Like I said, and I got mine from Amazon. Only thing you have to do is get the picture of something that you um, would like or just say a word or whatever, like I just showed y'all, that you would like to do. And just put it here on your paper and just make you a perfect circle. Or just cut it out. And just make a perfect circle. Because that's how they was doing them at first. Before we come out with all the other stuff. And started enhancing and so forth. That's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we did. So. But. I'm going to show y'all. I have. I think what I'm going to do with this beginner's friendly. Um, steps that I'm doing with you all on the ID badge reels. I'm going to take it from the beginner's friendly stage. And gradually upgrade to show y'all how deep you can go okay with doing these how deep you can go but this is what this little device right here makes right here to get that perfect shape circle of your picture of your choice to get like these little pictures right here if you done found something or like I say you already preset or you can buy them already like this a lot of people, a lot of vendors um, already have these set for you. The only thing you have to do is just cut it out. Or either they already have them cut out for you. You wouldn't have to cut them out. But you can go on Google, copy and paste, shrink it down the size to the one inch. But if you do it yourself at home, let me show you what you do. Keep this right here as a model. Little hole punch that you get them punched out as a model. Put it up to your computer and size up your, your wording to make sure it fits that um your circle that's what i do a lot of the times if i'm just hand free handing myself on the computer just the words or whatever something i see on google that i like that's what i do but yeah that's how you do that now let's get back into this i'm fixing to show you guys um what else you can use okay y'all see these right here these little packets right here, if you if you go to Dollar Tree, you'll see these little packets right here, right? And y'all know they'll have, um, hold on. Okay. 
Okay. I don't want to make a mess. Y'all know they'll have these little beads and stuff like this in there. Y'all see these right here? And the first thing you say, what in the world I'm going to do with them little beads? I don't know what to do with them. Now, the seed bees, we already know we what to do with them. But these right here, what, what am I going to do with that, Miss D? I cannot use that, Miss Dolores. I cannot. Yes, you can. I'm going to show you how to use it. I was throwing them away at first because they were just too little, too tiny to be dealing with. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not. Mm -mm. And I said, you know what? I was sitting down thinking one day, and I got started. I said, hold up. I know what I'm fixing to do with that there. Because you know they'll have the white, they'll have the green, or whatever color set you're getting. Or you can, whenever you go to Walmart or Dollar Tree or wherever you go, when you find these little bitty ones like this right here, and you think you can't use them, yes, you can use them. I'm fixing to show you how to use them. Yes, ma'am. But before I do that, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and pull this here dome off. Y'all see, they have a sticky back already. Now, if I put my hand back here, it's going to leave my hand print and everything. I look. You don't want that, okay? So try your best not to do that. Put, touch it if you can. So get your um, ladon. Sit it down in here like so. And just gently lay it on there. And there you go. When you place it where you want it at, mash it down real hard. So it adhere to your paper. I'm fixing to show y'all. See? And there you go. And there you have it. See? You see the little shiny piece now? And that's it. So now, I don't have to worry about this. This one that I never did. This is a badge. I can go ahead and just make a badge real out of this now. Some of, some of the nurses just like them like this. And it'll have like RN on it. Put your little charms or whatever at the bottom. And go about your business. And, and with this one here, and I can use this one. Matter of fact, only thing I have to do is get me just about every color that's in here. And put little charms on them like I did these. And match it and bling it out. That's all I got to do. And it'll go with what I just did. But we're not using this one tonight. Okay. Tonight we're going to use. Ta-da. LPN. It's black and it's gold. Okay. Now I'm fixing to show y'all how to put. How to use these. Okay. I'm fixing to show you. I'm fixing to show you. Y'all see this? Well, how are you going to do that? A lot of people still use this. I don't use this to stick this back here. You can. And it, and it will work. Don't get me wrong. Yes, it will. It, it, it will work. It will work. But I'm fixing to show you what I do. I, I'm, I'm telling you. You can use this. Now, don't say, Miss D, say don't use that. Da, da, da. No, that is not what I said. You can use this. To go back here of your choice and i'm fixing to show you what else to use if you choose to okay hold on get your hot glue gun put you just a little bit of glue try not to make it too bumpy and i'm fixing to show you right quick but hurry and put it on there okay and Ta -da, make sure it stick where you want it. See right here. Because when you put it on there, that's it. There ain't no more moving. It's not coming off. But wait a minute. Well, how, in the, how am I going to do that? It's, it's not. What else you do? You see how quick I did that? I just put glue right here. That's what I did with these. I just put glue. When I put the picture back there, I just put glue. I did not use this. And you can do that. You can use this. Just put you a little bit back there, let it sit. But to me, it just would have took too long, and I'm not, mm-mm. And with this one, I did totally different. Now, 
Uh -uh. Okay, I have it on there, right? Now, let's get ready to use our dome. Use another dome. Be careful when you pick it up. Go ahead and put your dome over your pick if you're doing it like this, if you're just using the paper only, okay? See? Mash it down. And you can put do these before you even put them on here, okay? You can do that before you even put it on here. But just be careful when you do. All right? That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. And I'm still thinking myself, where's my bling at? But I'm showing y'all a different way to use it tonight instead of the bling. Okay? Now, we have this on here ready to go, right? Mind you, me, I already have that on there. So it ain't going to mess with my charm, baby. Now, what I did was I went on ahead and preset my little charm. Y'all remember how we did this. I showed y'all, if y'all watched that video of my, um, when I showed y'all the uh, planners, the little journals, and I showed y'all how to make it, make this. That's, that's all this is right here. Get your little bead, your little, um, head pins or either your eye pin. Make your loop. Get your smaller bead at the top, bigger bead at the bottom rhinestone or whatever you want to use in the middle get your jump ring or split ring whichever one you want to use and now i'm fixing to show y'all how to put it now what i do guys if i got it on my um jump ring or split ring already if i'm using the jump the split if i'm using the split ring i'm gonna pull this apart right here you can take this apart and just slide it on there but since i'm just using the split the little jump ring i'm gonna show you i'm just gonna go ahead and put this on here i'm gonna hold this like so with my hand and do like this and that's it now i have that done that's out the way right See, it's coming together, right? Yep, got the um yellow. We have our yellow, we have our yellow, <laughs> and we have the black, and we have this our little angel to the bottom. And nurses are angel, they are angels, helping hands. Yes, they are. Now, now, how we're gonna use this? You still haven't told us how we're gonna use this. Just hold on, honey. I'll fix and show you. Okay. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to put all of these over there. Because I don't want to mess them up in case I may want to use them. I'm going to put them right there. And I'm fixing to put these right here. Get your adhesive of your choice. And y'all know you can use the E6000 or you can use whatever adhesive of your choice. And my adhesive of my choice is the super glue fix all. I get it from the Dollar Tree. Now, this is what you do. Put it on here like so. Mind you me, you can use a glove or whatever you want with this. It does not matter. Okay? It does not matter. Y'all see what I just did? But make sure you have something on the side to wipe your hands. Because y'all know this can get messy. <laughs> I bet you didn't know that, did you? Uh-huh. You didn't know that, did you? No, you didn't know. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull all of these out in here. On my little working space. And put them all like the, so. Like right there. Y'all see what I just did? Go back and just pack it out. That's all you got to do, guys. So, remember, the next time y'all go to that Dollar Tree or, or anywhere when y'all have them little beads like that, don't throw it away. I'm not sure if you do, but I'm just telling you, I know I did. And I'm like, wait a minute. I know it's something I could use with this. And y'all always put the top back on it. Don't do what I just did. <laughs> don't do 
don't do what I just did. And whatever you do, try not to get no um glue and stuff on the um on the dome. Okay. And I'm fixing to show y'all how to how I got all of that right there too. And y'all know y'all can get you a little um that's why I have my little tool right there too. I normally use my little doll, the little, little sticks, put the little doll on it and um put it on there. So I'm trying to spread this out so I have enough to show you, show you guys. But yeah, whatever you do, if you're throwing them away, don't throw them away no more. Or you just put them to the side of you have a plenty. Use them. Y'all see what I'm doing? It's messy. But if you choose to um, use a glove, just use a glove. Whatever's your preference. It's fine. To me, I just work better. I don't mind getting my hands a little messy. I don't mind at all. So, and by the time... By the time um, y'all see it's trying to stick now. <laughs> it's trying to already stick. So, what I'm fixing to do, make sure ain't none on my hand, on my finger. Make sure ain't none on my finger, right, like so. And hold it kind of like the best that you can. Just put it on here. I'm still here with you guys, okay? I'm just just a little bit into what I'm doing. Go back around. Fill in your little spaces. Fill in your little spaces. That's all you do. And push it up because remember if it's still wet that's fine let it be wet because that's what you want that's exactly what you want if it's a little if it's gonna run over on the back side that's fine that's what you want yeah it's drying now guys <laughs> Y'all see how it's hanging? You have some hanging just a little bit. Okay, now try to do your best. Go back and just fill in the little spots where you, whatever you didn't get. And I'm fixing to show y'all how to cover the um the front around your dome to make sure that paper don't come up because you used the glue. Okay. That's fine. Okay. All right. Now, what they can do, like I say, it can get messy now. Because believe you me, honey, when I was doing that right there, I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. It got messy. But baby, when that baby dried, look how pretty it turned out. sit it down just for a minute guys just for a minute and talk to y'all just for a minute talk to y'all about it just for a minute now as it sit there and dry what you can do you see why it's sitting here drying just a little bit just for a few minutes i'm gonna let it sit down because i don't want to put nothing on the dome and mess it up why it's sitting here 
y'all can go back and you see what I did with the pearls with these flat back pearls the big these are the big ones I have some big ones too only thing you can do is just go back and just line it up you could have went all the way around with the pearls right here like I did on this ladybug come back with you some adhesive put between the pearl as I did and put your little um little tubes right there now some of you all and then just go around the edge like I did with this and this I done had this on him for a minute they bought all of them I think everybody bought all of what I had like these except for this one and this one right here mm -hmm. that's two ain't that something and I mean I had a lot of them like this because it was different and this still pretty you can find this in my Etsy shop too but yeah I think I have all of them on sale right now though so I'm trying trying to wait to that dry some guys and I'm fixing to show y'all how to go around I had some little bitty minis you know what hold on the minis I was gonna show y'all to go with that I put a few on here to show y'all to bring out these here. These are my little minis. Let me see. Uh, um, only thing I have next to that is a little bit of gold. I don't want to use the gold though. Yeah, I'll probably use a few just to show y'all what I'm talking about. Ah, okay. We're going to put that right here. Okay, it's still kind of wet just a little bit, but it's fine. That's fine because I'm fixing to show y'all what to do. And if you get glue on your um little plastic piece right there where that charm is at, get you some alcohol or some soap and water kind of warm and just wipe it off y'all see how it look going around that's how it look and to bring it out if you don't want to bring it out and just want to leave it there because it has like that little glitter tone to it once it hit the light you see what i'm saying once it hit the light right up in here you'll see it so I might put some on here. I might not. Now, the next thing you're fixing to do is get you your adhesive and start putting it right, right there on the edge. Y'all see what I'm doing? I'm putting it right here on the edge of this dome. Let me see if I can incorporate. Uh, yep. Some little pearls. Every so often a little pearl. Yeah. That's all you got to do. Just incorporate you some little pearls. With it. And go from there to um make sure that um make sure it would definitely won't come up cuz baby when y'all know when this young stuff hit it that's it y'all know when this hit it oh it's not coming up it's not coming up we already know that. See? That's all you got to do. That's how you get that um, dissimilar to the ladybug. That's all you do. If you're into making the ID badges, this is another way you can make them, okay? 
This is another way you can make them. Just get you some stuff and put it right there. Your adhesive and put right there. I'm gonna have to go back and wipe all of that off now. Just gradually just go to putting them on there. I'm leaving um, spaces in between them because I'm going to go back and I'm going to put some um the little um beads right here that we don't want to throw away. That we don't want to throw away is those right there. I'm fixing to show y'all. Oh, they got some up there at the top. That's all y'all do. So, the next time when y'all see these little bitty ones, don't throw them away. So y'all gonna remember that now. The next time y'all go to that Dollar Tree and y'all see it, y'all gonna say, now Miss D told me, don't throw this away. I know what to do with it next time. That's what you do. Because, honey, I'm gonna tell y'all, I was throwing them away. I literally was throwing it away. Because I'm like, I, I just ain't got time to be dealing with these little bitty bees. And I'm like, wait a minute. I've been throwing these things away. And I was sitting there one day. I was sitting there looking at it. And I'm like, oh, baby, it's over now. And put it close to that edge as you can. Y'all see what I did? Y'all see how that came along? And y'all look how pretty that is. I don't want to touch it too much. See? Now, y'all overlook my little bees and stuff. Y'all see what I'm doing. Y'all see I'm working. <laughs> y'all see I'm working. I'm going to have to clean that off when I'm done. Get you a little bit more adhesive of your choice. Come back and, and cover the bees a little bit. It ain't going to matter. Y'all know it's going to dry clear. Come back and cover the bees a little bit. Trust me, that's what I did with this. I'm telling you, that's exactly what I did with it. Just go in between and put some in between it. If or uh, either kind of like on top of it to make it look like it's layered. If you don't um if you don't want to after you be done use these here, this color, but I'm using this here because um they bring out the little gold and the and the put add some black to it. So it'll kind of like have that little glitterness to it. That little glycerin. Y'all see I'm not touching it that much, right? Because I'm telling you, once it, once it sit on here, y'all know how that stuff do. Y'all see what I'm saying? That's pretty. You don't need a whole lot on, on the top if you're just doing like little specks. See how I did this in here? You don't need a whole lot like I did that one right there. I'm going to show y'all more in-depth with that. Yep. Because what I'm doing now, I'm just putting some, like, in between for little specks and stuff. Get on in there. Stay. And that's it. Y'all see? And the reason why I did that, and the reason why you want to do that, remember we use glue. And to secure it the way I want it to, to make sure it don't stay, to, to make sure it don't come up. I'm sorry, y'all. Make sure it don't come up. Go back and do what I just showed you to do. And that's all you do. That's all you do, guys. Okay? So, now, you have a lovely ID badge reel.
If you have a lovely ID badge reel. If it stick a little bit at the bottom, that's fine. Just gently pull it apart. Well, baby, if I pull it down, some y'all can see it. See? That's cute. Tell me that ain't cute. Yes, it is. LPN. Yes, ma'am. So, we're done. So, guys, this is another way you can use these little beads like this. And see, and I still had some left over. If I want it to be a little thicker, like I did this here at the front, only thing you do is go back, put some more glue, adhesive glue of your choice, and put it on top and flood it out. You see what I did with this one? Let me put that down. Let me put this down right here. Let me see. It's fine if it do that. Y'all see that? I'm going to leave that right there so it can dry. And I'm going to show y'all something else before we close out on this video. Okay. So I'm done with that. I'm going to get me a little Ziploc bag. A little bitty, itty bitty little bag that I have. I'm put that adhesive up. And so we're done with this video. Let's go back over something right quick, okay? And it's not going to be long. Remember, if you're into the ID badge making, get you some domes. You can get them anywhere off the internet. Etsy, Amazon, just look them up. They're little clear domes. Epoxy domes. That's all these are. One inch. They sell them bigger than this too, depending on what you're doing. Okay? We got that out of the way. Y'all already know about the flat back pearls. Amazon. Anyway. Okay? Y'all already, already just showed y'all how to do the one inch punch. Okay? Get you some bottle caps. Put your little dome on it. That's all you do. We already did that. Y'all already know about the badge reel. We did that. And the little flat back pearls. And your little one inch. Okay. And you know you have to have your tools and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, let's get back to this right quick before I close out because my video, I don't want my video to be too long and y'all get bored with it, okay? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Right here, what I was showing y'all, the only thing you do is do the same thing I just showed you. Put some glue of your choice or your adhesive of your choice and go around it and just put it around it once you put this on. Y'all seen the steps I did to make this? I used hot glue just to adhere it. Not a whole, you don't need a whole lot, just enough to, to adhere it to your badge. And then when it dry good enough, put your clear dome on top. That's all you do. If you're not using the bling that go around, and y'all know what I mean when I say the bling, the little mesh bling, the little mesh bling that I have right here. I'm not sure if y'all can see my hand, but on my little things that I showed y'all, that's it. Get your pearls, flat back pearls, go around it. Y'all see right here? And put it in there. That's all you do. And you have a nice bed. Y'all overlook that glue on my hand now. Y'all know I just got through working. Okay. That's it. And that's what I did with this one. My hand a little too bad in the video. <laughs> y'all see what I did? I covered this one, boy. I covered this bad boy. What I did was I started putting it on there and I let it sit. And I went back and got some more. And some more um adhesive. And honey... I packed it out and mashed it down. When it got back dry again, I came back and do it, did it again. That's how I ended up with this. And you can just make these plain. And what I did was I got a little charm and I set it right there in the middle. And mashed it down and whatever else came up, I just mashed it on around. That's all I did. And I ended up putting my little charms and stuff on them. And my little pearls. The same. That's all I did. So this here 
It's th this stuff right here. That's all it is, okay? That's all it is. But that's all you do with that, guys. That is it. So, this is another way to make ID badge reels. And trust me, they would definitely love them. The reason why? Because they're different, okay? They're different, different, different. So, like I say, always think out the box. Make it your own. And go far beyond just thinking well oh i have to use the mesh bling no you don't you don't miss miss d just showed you guys you don't just have to use just the mesh bling to bling this out remember get this right here get this these little beads right here because that's what they are these little two beads right here well y'all i'm trying to pick some up to show y'all see Get these little two beads right here. Get those little two beads. Y'all will look behind with the glue now. Get those little two beads right here. And bling it out. And come up with this. Look. Look how pretty that is, y'all. That's pretty. That's definitely pretty. So, you see how I'm mashing it, gently mashing it down on the back? You see? And when your back dries, get you some alcohol or either a wet rag, a damp rag, and go back and just clean it up. And all the extra, just knock it off. But that turned out beautiful. And I would definitely put this in my Etsy shop. I sure am. Yes, I am. And y'all see how I made the little angel. And like this little piece right here. Right here. I'm going to have to get some alcohol. Right here. Because I don't like that. And I'm going to go back and just clean it up. Just always make sure when you're done, just clean it up. That's all you do. Okay? But okay, guys. I'm out. That was... Um, I think, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, part three or part four to our beginner's friendly um, ID badge reels. And this is another way you can make your ID badge reels by using the little two beads that we get from the Dollar Tree. Do not throw it away. Do not throw it away. Okay, guys, my video has been a little bit too long. I'm out. And I thank you guys for stopping in and watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you like the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Just hit the button. Hit the button. That's all you got to do. Make sure it's gray and not red. I'm out, guys.